set it all up and here we go the Gauss MD there you go from Ukraine now it's uh, made by a company called Mars which uh, are renowned for good search ads so Mars decided to uh, bring up their own to develop their own machine and this is it the Gauss MD comes with um, its own uh, set of headphones with a transmitter so it's wireless in other words wireless. the build quality is brilliant really strong at the stem and the bottom and the bottom stem has a, is carbon is carbon fiber with neat little tight hook bolt and there you can see the made in Ukraine with the Mars symbol okay, it's a well balanced machine fairly light but strong it also has a decent turn cup for your, for your elbow and a strap to strap your arm in, nice and comfort. And what I like about this is that uh, the, it's a well made machine, there's no doubt about it. Technology going to this is, this is quite good. It also is able to just come off your. Yeah, try it anyway, but that's how it comes off. Very easy to take off, you don't need screws or anything like that. And um, the charge point is just there, which charges in with a cable, it's, a, it's a magnetic. I've uh, tested it out with uh, the settings, so I know what settings. So I want to do talk through the settings now of the machine and then go through some of the coins. Once it's fully charged, it's got up to 24 hours of detecting time, which is great. It's a lot longer than some detectors. But yeah, it's a great machine and I think it's worth, well worth this money. Now what we're going to do is set out some coins and some artifacts. So this is the display and I'll just talk you through the different settings. So the different buttons are here. So you've got this power button, the ground balancing button, and then this leads you into the different modes and the different settings so that for, the, for the different programs. You've got a pinpointing button, and this is your left arrow and right arrow that moves you through your different programs. Okay, let's turn it on. Power on. So, the mode button moves you through your different search programs. Gain button, which is really like a sensitivity button. The scream is obviously discriminating button, so up and down discrimination level. Frequency, what frequency you have, it has 15 kilohertz or 48 kilohertz. And then you've got different programs along with that, so we can move into different, different levels of programs, which is all in your manual and explained uh, with the different levels for different environments and ground conditions. But this is how you move into those different levels. And then we move into then search mode, which is another level of um, programs which helps you uh, set the machine to different ground conditions to fine tune it, in other words. Then we have, so there you go, just to just show that it does it up high and different levels, which you need to understand by reading your manual. This is. Uh, the, the mode that you're in, you can either switch it to different modes, and that's all fully explained in, in the manual. Can't go through it all because we'll be here for a while. Volume control speaks for itself, and then this is like a kind of uh, iron volume control, which you can higher and lower, and helps you uh, higher the tone of uh, non ferrous targets or lower it, whichever you, you decide to do. And then we move on to 
the transmitter, the actual um, wireless transmitter. It's got four different um, levels. Channel one, channel two, channel three, channel four. I got it set at channel one, and then the actual one will be set on. And it corresponds with the transmitter. So there you go. Turn it on. So you can move it to one, two, three. Now that's that's just in case you get interference from other metal detectors, so you can go on a different frequency level, so you don't get that interference. That's what that's for. And you just simply uh, increase the volume here, plus or minus, or turn it off. So that's basically how it works. We've also got a temperature on the machine telling you what temperature it is. 75, 73 Roman bronze. Crystal lead 66, 67. Silver 79, probably 80. That's a sixpence. 72, 73 half sovereign gold. Now you can you can adjust the machine obviously to, to suit yourself to reduce the iron content but I've got it high on ploughed land. But it's tin and then iron. Copper penny in the 80s generally I still imagine. Uh, so this is a ring pull. Still makes a good noise for a ring pull, I'm afraid. 70, 71. This is a, a buckle of 16th century. 77. It's a hammered. Hammered penny. Won't miss that. 78. Quick test with the with the gauze MD. Um, now I'm going to take it out to the field and give it a, uh, its actual test on ploughed land and see how it performs. Catch you later.